Hey y'all, good morning. Your girl is looking cute. <laughs> In three her family's voice, chief's voice actually. So it's a Sunday today, it's the 20th of December and I am going to church, hence the sleigh. Okay, I'm feeling very cute today. I'm colorful and happy. And I had a blast yesterday night. Go and watch my last vlog to understand what I was talking about or what I'm talking about. Yeah, I look really beautiful. Let me show you guys my OOTD. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. long time no balcony footage <laughs> i'm back home now and um, i'm about to edit a video i filmed a video this afternoon and it's trends that we should let go of in 2020 and not going to 2021 with them so that's what i filmed this afternoon i really hope i can edit it in time for tonight's upload i'm hoping fingers crossed so yeah i just want to take off my wig now take off this dress wash my face or I'll just leave my face till when I'm about having my bath in the night. I'll just cleanse and wash my face. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have an estate party to attend tomorrow. So I think I'll include it in this vlog and then end the vlog. Hopefully, if I get to go there. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace. See ya. Good evening. I just left the house now and I told you I was going for a party today but I changed my mind it's late I don't want to be staying outside late this Christmas period because Portacot is not the safest this period but yeah I'm at a new place called Creed in Portacot and Bina is here with her sisters and her cousin so I just stopped by to see them yeah it's a new place and it's very cute let me show you guys what it looks like the front it's so cute guys so beautiful I think they are still constructing though but it's really cute. I love the wall design and up there you have the name Creed Bistro Bar Hookah. To the back, there's a walkway and it has this very cute artwork on the wall. And the walls oh, have like this it. cute light and flowers. It's cute. Oh, the back area. I'm sitting in some what they call this like a pool. No, there's a name for it. Is it a dome? No. What did they call it? What do they call this thing? I don't know. It's like a pit. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like a pit. Uh -huh. A pit. Or whatever. But they should have just made this in a pool. Ah, see Martin. Hello. And there's another one over yeah. there. <laughs> this one you you be moved. How are you? Hi. Where's your glasses? You eh? It's in front of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey y'all, good morning and happy boxing day. You guys, I woke up to Hamatan this morning in Portacot and I'm like, okay Hamatan. All the trees were just flapping, like breeze everywhere, the weather was cold. We've been expecting you for so long and you finally came. You decided to come on boxing day. But yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> the only downside to this thing is that all the leaves will start shedding. This compound will sweep you like three times or two times a day. That's how much the leaves will shed. I'm headed to the cinema, guys. I haven't been to the cinema in over a year. I believe the last time I went to the movie was maybe August of last year. I just felt the need to go take myself out and neck at the pretty serpent there's a remake of it in cinemas now i was so excited I made up my mind i was going to go see it today you guys i just hope that it'll be as good as living in bondage because from the preview i noticed that the same people that made living in bondage are responsible for neck at the pretty serpent so hopefully it's good content and it's a good video rather <laughs> and i'll have fun watching it but yeah my OT today i decided to show some skin i'm wearing this crop top from Shein. my pants is from i will check for the make of my um, pants and leave it on the screen because I can't remember right now. My feet I have on these flat slippers from ASOS and then I'm just carrying my Juicy Culture saddle. I have no makeup on. I've been Team Natural for a couple of days now. <laughs> I don't say for a while now but I just remember that I did makeup on Sunday. But for a couple of days now I've just been going out makeup less and yeah i'm loving it how was your christmas mine was filled with food guys i cooked from morning till about 3 p.m 
posted some of the things I made on my Insta stories and it was a hit back to back. Like everything I I laid my hands on that day was amazing. Yes, yes. I know that I don't look it, but I actually threw it down in the kitchen. Like I'm that good. <laughs> but yeah, how was your Christmas? Put out a chit chat video on Christmas Day and so many people were like, oh, they're in lockdown. There's nothing happening. They don't even feel it's Christmas. This COVID-19 has just robbed us of a lot of things and yeah, I can't just wait for it to be history at this point. Well, wishing you all a happy Boxing Day. Unbox your gifts and just have fun, okay? The movie is for 12.40 and it's currently 12 o'clock on the dot. I would just run this thing now and before 12.20. I should be in film half cinemas <laughs> let's see how that goes so i made it here on time exactly on my 20 minutes mark i haven't got here before time but i used the other gate the bag gate close to government house in potako but for some reason they are not using that gate again so i had to go and turn and i got here by 12 20. let me see okay yeah i don't know if you guys can see it but mm. It's 12 23 already that's the time i i used to set up my camera and start this talk that we're having now <laughs> but yeah i'm at um, spa now and i just want to rush upstairs and um, go and buy my ticket i hope to have your popcorn student i'll see you guys after the movie all right bye yeah when i think about the way we used to be when i think about the things it took for me out of the cinema and the movie was so interesting i enjoyed it but my thing is i felt like they went off the original plot a lot they they murdered the original plot because there was no correlation between the first movie and this remake i don't know if there was a reason for it this was a different totally different storyline and there was no there were no connections i don't know how to explain it but there was a connection yeah the queen mother that's um this lady i think in the dob yeah yes i think was there she played her role she was still the queen mother but now this new neka i'm trying to understand what she was about if you have if you remember the first plot of um the original movie you remember that um neka was known for going after um men that were cheats that's unfaithful marriages men in unfaithful marriages so that was what she was known for in the original movie but in this remake now i don't i don't understand the storyline is good no doubt but i really do not understand the connection between both so yeah um aside that i really love the picture quality display network guy is doing big things it's the one that it was from his network they brought um living in bondage rattlesnake and then this one i heard um glamour girls is coming out soon as well idia that girl is a hottie like she's she's hot but one thing that struck me though was the way she was pronouncing um the Igbo words i know she's not Igbo, but they should have worked on it a little bit more especially when she was when she calls her friend ada Ada is an evil name, Ada. She say Ada. Ada. And she was supposed to be playing an evil girl in the movie. So that's like the only downside I would say for me in the movie. I love Bimbo Ademoye. She's fast becoming my one of my favorite Nigerian um actresses because she just she's just the life of the party. Beverly Osu was amazing. Um Choma Chukuka Apotha was Twali. That woman, I really love her. I love her so much. Who else? Oh, the guy that played um, Idia's boy love interest. I've forgotten his name. I think he was a model or he still is. I can't remember. But yeah, I really like him. Um, yeah, so far so good. In general, I think the movie was okay. Zako G made a cameo. Oh my god. Even I, It was just really amazing. The suspense too. The suspense caught me off guard, guys. The one that just made me very confused was when Ramsinua 
made a cameo in this one. So Rapsuna played the role of someone in living in bondage and he made a cameo in Ineka the Pretty Serpent at the end and he tried to convince her to come work with him or something. So I don't know. I hope I'm not spoiling it at this point for anybody. That's why I'm just trying to put bits and bits of what I feel about the movie here. So I'm sure there will be a continuation sometime soon. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I love the fact that I came out today and I had that bowl of popcorn although i didn't finish it wasn't even as nice as film house popcorn is to be they've reduced their quality very well so if you're working in film house can tell them if you should work on your quality bring back that quality we are used to so yeah i'm just um about leaving the cinema now so that's it with me i hope i'm not looking too bright the sun is bonkers it's crazy hey i'll talk to you guys later let me start going to Bina's house luckily the road is clear so in like 10-15 minutes I should be there see ya bye